O level biology 5090, paper 2, May, June 2024, and variant is 2 to question number 1 to 3, part 1. So, first of all, we will discuss question number 1. And question number 1 is figure 1.1 shows two cells from the leaf of a plant observed using light microscope. So, they have shown the two cells cell wall, cytoplasm, A and B. They are labeled with A and B. Now the question is complete table 1.1 to identify the structures labeled A and B and to describe the functions of each structure. So first of all, we will come to know what is structure A and structure B. And here you can see that the structure A is chloroplast. It shows that it is a plant cell and B and cell wall is also there, which will also show. And the B is sap vacuole. So here we have to write down the function of these in the table. So the A was chloroplast. And the function of chloroplast is the process of photosynthesis, that it is used to help out the process of photosynthesis. Chloroplast contain chlorophyll, which absorbs or captures sunlight for photosynthesis. So next is sap vacuole. So sap vacuole, you know, Students, it contain dissolved or inorganic and organic molecules. It store foods, food and nutrients. It protect the cell. It supports the cell so in this way both of these organelles have different functions now we will move towards the next question and next question is State one structure that is not visible in figure 1.1 but would be visible in the cytoplasm in an electron micrograph of the same two cells. So in the, uh, you can say in the picture, they have shown cell walls, cytoplasm, uh, chloroplast, and ribosomes uh, are missing, mitochondria are missing. So here we can write any one of these there are other organelles which are missing, but here we are going to write that the ribosomes are missing or mitochondria. So we are going to move towards the next question. And next question is question number two. And in question number two, uh, organisms can be classified into groups using the features they share. Fish are one of the main group of vertebrates. State three main features used to classify an organism as a fish. So we have to write down the different uh, characteristics of the fish on which we can say these are the fishes. So first of all, you can say the gills are present in the fishes. Presence of gills. And secondly, they have scales on their body.
and third one they are cold blooded any case stay two main groups of vertebrates other than fish other groups uh, can be the mammals and birds now we will move towards the next part this which is b and what is written in the b they have shown a picture of swordfish swordfish are large uh, large fish that live in the ocean they have a long bony extension to the skull called a sword figure 2.1 is a diagram of the swordfish the binomial name of the swordfish is uh, zipius gladius and define the term species species are the group of organisms living at a place and produce fertile offspring after breeding with one another so this is the definition of a species now we are moving towards the next question which is state the species name of the organism shown so the name zipias is the uh, genus name and gladius gladius g l a d i u s this is the species name next question question number part c of the question number 2 swordfish swim near the surface of the ocean where the water temperature is low during evolution swordfish developed a muscles behind each eye muscles behind each eye that warms the air and the brain to the temperature above that of the ocean this feature gives swordfish important improved vision so improved vision with the help of this so name the process that led to the evolution of the muscle behind each eye of the squad fish so this is the uh, evolution by natural selection because because the fish has adopted some uh, fissures in the structure due to which uh, it is able to survive from the predators or from the other environmental factors so in this way uh, it is best fit in the nature so uh, nature has selected this species suggest reasons why the evolution of this feature has adopted swordfish to survive in the ocean so first of all i would like to say that this uh, organism or this fish uh, it will be able to prey on the other for food able to get food and secondly to protect itself from other organisms such as whale and shark able to compete for food shelter and meat so in this way this fish is able to survive in the in that environment and after in this way it can reproduce and can increase its number now the next question number 3 and question number 3 is 
com uh, complete table 3.1 using terms from the list below to match each description to a term. So first of all, the different words which are shown over here are a form of a gene that codes for one of a pair of contrasting features. So a form of gene that code for one of a pair of contrasting feature. So it is an allele. As you know, the genes are available in different forms. So a form of a gene that always has an effect when it is present. So if the type of uh, gene will show its dominance, we will say that dominant gene. Having two different forms of a gene for a particular feature. So particular feature, but the different forms are there. So they are called as heterozygous. Having two of the same form of gene for a particular feature. So they are same. So they will have, they are homozygous. And then uh, the combination of alleles that an organism has in its chromosome. So combination of genes will be the genotype. Now we will move towards the next question. And in next part, they have shown a diagram of a part of a molecule of DNA taken from a bacterial cell. State the term which describes the shape of the DNA molecule. And you can say, uh, students, the DNA is a uh, double helical structure. You can see two chains, they are twisted together. These two chains are twisted together. So state the term which describes the shape of the DNA molecule. So we will write double helix. The name double helix. And the next question is state the term which describes the shape of the DNA molecule. We have done it. Most of the DNA in bacterial cell is found in one large loop in the cytoplasm make another structure in bacterial cell which contains DNA. So the DNA has the uh, a circular shaped DNA which is called as plasmid. So state the name of the type of molecule that is represented by the letters A, T, adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine in figure 3.1, all they are called as nitrogen bases. And students, you know, these are the four nitrogen bases which are present in the nucleotides. Any one of them will be present in one nucleotide. So outline the importance of the sequence of adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine in DNA. Already told you that these uh, nitrogen bases actually are used to name any of the protein or to uh, make different types of proteins. So these nitrogen bases, three nitrogen bases, they will make up one amino acid. Three nitrogen bases will make one amino acid. And amino acids are used to make the proteins. So they will make a sequence of the formation of protein. And they are also used to make the sequence of protein. So in this way, they are helpful because they have the specific, every DNA has its specific order. And this specific order is made with the help of these different four 
nitrogen basis. So they will be uh, in, uh, in a sequence uh, by which the different types of proteins are formed. So it was all about question number one and three. Uh, students, please uh, like, share and subscribe my channel. And thanks for watching my video.